I'm Lily, I'm eight, and I'm wondering, how exactly does your brain remember things? Hi, my name's Haley Vlock, and I'm a professor in the Department of Educational Psychology, and I'm the director of the Learning, Cognition, and Development Lab. We study how children and adults improve their memory abilities. And what we study are the different conditions or ways that we can teach kids and adults to improve their memory. So the first step in forming a memory is called encoding. And encoding starts at perception. So if you remember back to the first time you met your best friend, you encoded or perceived a lot of information about your best friend. So you might remember what your best friend looks like. And what happens is information from your eyes goes to the visual cortex of the brain, which is in the occipital lobe at the very back of the brain. And all different types of information that you perceive go to different parts of the brain. And what happens after the brain perceives all that information is that it travels to an area in the middle of the brain called the hippocampus. And what the hippocampus does is integrates all that information and forms a memory. And what the hippocampus does is it decides, do I need to remember this information now or should I remember it for later? So it turns out that memories are very complex because they contain all different types of information, visual information, auditory information, tactile such as touch. Um, and the best way to remember something is for a memory to have all different types of information associated with. So the first time we remember information, we store that into our memories and usually into our long-term memory. Now let's say time goes by and we retrieve that memory again. Well, we'll retrieve the memory, but what happens is when we retrieve that memory, we actually change the memory and we incorporate new information into that old memory. Every single time we recall that memory, it constantly changes. And so memory's not like a photograph that's just stored in the mind, it's a photograph that keeps changing every time we access the photograph. 